Hey, you're watching Fox 10 Talks. I'm Trent Hooker. This is Brian Webb. Again, we are speaking with Dr. Avi Loeb, Harvard astrophysicist on this interstellar object, 3i Atlas. This fascinating conversation every time we talk to Dr. Loeb. Sure. Um, I really love it. It blows my mind. Uh, but Professor, real quick, if we could talk about what we spoke last break with your letter to the United Nations about organizing a committee for them to develop a plan of what will they do if this object turns out to be an alien intelligence that we need right. to take seriously? I, I think so, because uh, the intelligence agencies often prepare uh, plans, uh, contingency plans for black swan events that uh, might have a low probability, but uh, when they happen, you want to be prepared. And uh, in this case, you know, it could be a threat uh, to humanity that is uh, very different from uh, rocks falling from the sky. You know, that's what we are preparing ourselves uh, for, uh, knowing that the dinosaurs were killed by a, a, a giant asteroid. But, you know, if, if there is a technological object approaching us, uh, all bets are off. It, it would behave very differently. And uh, just think about the uh, ants in the crack of a pavement looking up and, and seeing a biker that is passing by. The, the, they would have a hard time conversing with a biker uh, or uh, uh, doing anything that would uh, change the path of the biker. And we might be in the same situation and uh, we better uh, find uh, how we want to respond to different uh, scenarios. And of course, the, the devil is in the details. We, we need to know as much as possible about the other side before we decide what to do. It's not clear we can communicate with the other side. It's not clear we can protect ourselves, but we should be ready. And, and frankly, I think uh, such a an encounter will bring humanity to a better place because um, as of now, we are just focusing most of our attention on a daily basis on conflicts here on Earth. If there is a threat from the sky, it might bring people together because we are all in the same boat. Right. I, I want to ask you real quick, yeah. Professor, too, just to follow up on that. Do you feel like in the last few years when you are discussing this topic with business leaders, with world leaders in, in your communication, do, do you feel like the reception is a little more open than previously with the previous interstellar object, Momoa Moa, that they are a little more open to taking this potential threat more seriously than they were? Well, it's definitely true about the public because... Uh, you know, I write uh, essays on medium.com on a daily basis. And uh, now in one day, I get uh, as many views, you know, like uh, for the 60,000 views that I used to get uh, per month. Uh, and so that means the public really cares about it. I had a, a message from a, a former pilot in the U.S. Air Force who said that because of you, my daughter is now uh, interested in becoming a scientist. She saw you on television and she would like to do that. And so I think it's inspiring to young kids. They find that science could be exciting. It's not uh, like sitting in a classroom and uh, listening to the lecturer telling us what we need to know. Instead, it's a, a work in progress and, and we collect data and evidence that will tell us what this object is. And the beauty of this is it's in we can see it unfolding in real time. And so I, you know, I do feel that the public definitely cares more about it. With respect to politicians, you know, it will take um, a real encounter that is verified to change the mindset of politicians or uh, people in the financial uh, markets, you know, because uh, such an event will have huge implications, potential implications. Once we uh, verify that we encountered alien technology, I think uh, we will start allocating a, a significant fraction of the budget we currently allocate to uh, uh, military uh, expenses. We will allocate it to space exploration. We would put a, a system of uh, uh, interceptors or, or probes that would alert the Earth uh, for any incoming um, uh, threat. Um, you know, it, it, we will change the way we think about our place in the universe. It, it might inspire us to explore space much more than we do right now. So I think altogether it will have spiritual implications. It will have political, economic implications. I think it's a, an extremely important 
uh, uh, subject, um, but uh, people will not recognize it. Politicians will not pay attention to it until it actually happens for the first time, and then <laughs> everything will change. That's how humans are, aren't we? Right. Uh, well, it's too late for me. You inspired me to sell all my 401k and just to start spending <laughs> it immediately. So thanks, th <laughs> thanks for that update. Dr. Loeb, we appreciate your time as always, and uh, Thank you, sir. hopefully we can talk to you again soon. Thanks for having me. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.